All right, I am gonna make a chicken rice corn casserole um, in the sun oven. I have already, I just, I already cooked the chicken. I put like cayenne over it and salt and pepper. I cooked it at the same time I cooked some brown rice in the sun oven. So I set it out there about nine o'clock-ish. It's 11.50 now. I just left them out there because I went to work. And so they are both done. So I'm gonna mix all that together with some creamed corn that I froze and some cheese. And it you could put like um, cream of chicken soup in it or some broth. I don't have, I eat gluten-free, so I don't have cream of chicken soup already made up, but I'm not gonna take the time to do it. So I'm just gonna put some of my yogurt in there. Anyway, so I'm going to take out the cooked chicken right here and cut it up. And then I'll put it right back into the same pan that I took it out from. But actually there is like a little bit of, mm, that's like chicken broth made its own chicken broth so i can like leave that in there so just cutting up the chicken in chunks actually that was a little some good broth i didn't even um i didn't even put any water in there it just that's what it made from the chicken that was pretty good so i'll mix it all together i may not have to put the yogurt in it i'm just throwing stuff together that's kind of how I do things. Sometimes I follow a recipe, sometimes I don't. Or sometimes I'll follow a recipe like for what ingredients go in it, but then I don't follow the measurements. I don't know. Um, I've never put like cayenne pepper all over the chicken. I thought maybe that would add some flavor. I'm actually gonna try a bite of that. I like that. Mm, this chicken, wow, is so tender. And that's the nice thing about the sun of them is it keeps things so moist. Oh my goodness, that is really good. I'm gonna have another piece. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so it does have a little, mm, you probably can't see, little liquid in it. So I'm gonna leave that in there for flavor. So then, oops, I'll throw my chicken back in there that I cut up, back into the same pan. Then here's my rice. I'm gonna throw my rice in there and I cooked like a half cup of rice, but it turned out like a lot. I don't know. I may not put it all in. And it's actually brown rice. And I have tried <laughs> white rice cooks amazing in the sun oven. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And I tried brown rice one time and it took forever, which brown rice takes a lot longer to cook anyway, like just on the stovetop. It would not cook for the life of me out there. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm leaving it out there for two hours. So I'm gonna give it a try. Hold on, let's see. Oh my goodness. Mm, so good. All right, so I put some rice in there. I'm gonna put some, this is like, mm, I call it cream corn. It's like sugar and milk and butter. You melt that all together, you cook your, corn in the oven, like on a low temp, like I think 200 for like an hour, let it cool, bag it up, and then freeze it. All right, so I'm gonna stir these together, and then I can decide, do I wanna put more rice in it? Do I wanna put more corn? You could actually put um, peppers in here. Green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers. I could do that because I have some from the garden. 
think I'm going to put a little bit more corn in here, but not race. And actually, I might put a little bit of this yogurt in. Uh, it has a little bit more whey in there than, whoop, that's enough. Just get all up, stir that up. I don't think I'm gonna put any peppers in there. I'm not feeling peppers today. That sure does sound good. You could probably put onions in it, tomatoes. We have plenty of tomatoes from the garden. It's the end of the garden season. Like October 5th. I did go ahead and pull my tomato plants out. Okay. Now I'm going to salt and pepper it. And then I'm going to take some cheese. So this is what it looks like right now. All right. Then, and the only thing in here that's cold really is that little bit of dollop of yogurt that I put in it and then the cream corn. I should have probably set it out and had it at room temperature so it wouldn't take as long to cook because really everything here, all I'm doing now is just warming up the corn since the chicken's done, since I just pulled it out and the rice is done. And then I'm melting the cheese. That's it. That is it. So that's gonna be our main dish. And then we'll probably just eat some like fruit on the side or something like that. Anyway, so that's what it looks like with the cheese. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put this lid on and I'm gonna go take it out to the sun oven. Um, the sun oven right now is, uh, at 300 degrees, that's what it was when I took the chicken and the rice out of it. Um, like I said, it's October 5th. It is really, really windy out here, but I have the steaks in the sun oven so it doesn't blow away in the back to hold it down, to anchor it down. And it's, I don't know, maybe 60 degrees outside. I'm not for sure what the temperature quite is. It's cool. Anyway, so, I'm going to put this back in. Yep. So I don't know if you can see. It's 300 degrees. Put this back in. Shut the lid. Make sure if it's lined up. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. So let me take these steaks out. Let me see. So i got to turn it. Now it's aligned, put these steaks back in so the wind doesn't blow it over. And then really, it's just gonna, just till the cheese melts. So I'm gonna say like 20, 20, 30 minutes, 20 minutes should do it since it's at 300 degrees. And then we'll have our main dish. So it's just a easy chicken, corn, rice, casserole. Have a great day.